Travers. What tide brings you? You dress the part of an assassin, yet I don't know your face. Name's Kenway. I'm here to warn you of a threat to your bureau. Yes, I have noticed some suspicious men lurking about. I believe they work for a network Templar called uh, Upton. Could you eliminate them for me? Oh, I may be persuaded. For a price. You wouldn't happen to know anything about a Templar key, would you? I'm sure you may find it among Upton's men. If I'll tell you where they are. <laughs> You've got yourself a deal. I am Upton Travers, Bureau Leader. What? Is Vance your... My blood brother. We work together. And those were not Templars that you killed. They were my workers. Don't blame me. Your brother ordered it. Does he mean to usurp me? I don't know, mate. I'm only after a Templar key. A what? I need for you to tell me everything. And why should I trust you? Meet me at the Bureau, and I will show you. Oh, brother. My lovesick idiot of a brother has misled you. Oh, start from the start, mate. Recently, our trade introduced us to a formidable woman, Jing Lang. A pirate from the farthest seas of the Orient. Intriguing. She and Vance quickly became inseparable. Any reason he should have thought your men were spies? Well, there is the treasure. Oh? A pirate sold us a map, 
we each kept half. Come, I will meet him now. If you follow with discretion, you may hear it for yourself. Follow me at a distance. If anyone sees you, tell them you are my bodyguard. There are thieves about who would stop at nothing to secure either half of the map. Day, brother. If I may still call you that. Why? What else would you call me? Stranger, perhaps? I barely knew you. And if the whispers around town are to be believed, you would have me gone and done away. But, uh, come. You know better than to give it the gossip. Ness always too small. The old times turn everything to sentimental comedy. It's a domestic tragedy I'm trying to avoid. Well said, brother. No stronger bonds than family, except business. Goodness knows we have more than enough of that between us. Well, that is true, brother. That is very true. And what a business it is. I'm sure neither of us would ever do anything to upset the balance of Yours. Vance, you know I feel we must protect that treasure with utmost caution. On the contrary, that map is our protection. Its treasure, our freedom. All the more reason to keep it buried. Safe. But have you no imagination? Can you not imagine the luxurious life that awaits us once we unearth its bounty? I really don't think that. The Travers estate and plantations. No more smuggling. No more organizing men. No shipments. No risk. Advance. Are you sure your future will unfold so easily? What do you mean? What are you implying? I am not implying. I am merely asking. Do you really imagine Jane as the lady of the house? Mistress of servants, brute mother? Or should I not imagine it? You question her love, her fitness. Of course not. But knowing her as you do, you must appreciate that she is a woman of action. She needs the sea, challenge. How will she adapt to acquire domestic life? Jing is none of your concern. Vance, do you intend to marry her? Of course. It pains me to tell you, but I do not believe she will consent to it. Oh, and what gives you such insight into her heart? In addition to her nature, I simply do not believe she is exactly what she says she is. You're jealous. Jealous? No. Yes! I only worry for your safety, brother. You're always here to be the favorite child, the golden boy. <laughs> I can't stand it that you would give her art to me, but she can't even give you a second glance. So you hate her. I have no hate. Only concern. I'll tell you this. I will marry her. I will have your heart for that. Then the world will see that your brother has more honor. I'll bid you good day. You're not man enough to see it through. My flower, it is all but done. I've hired a man. In moments, Upton's life will be over, and the map will be ours. You hired a man? In your scriptures, did Cain hire a man? No, Cain was a man. Come to the field, he said to Abel, and he did it himself. 
It did not require a third man to carry the axe. We did not have so many witnesses as we do in there, so trust me, he's doing it now. Right this moment? Nothing can save him now. I just saved your life, mate. Thanks. He said he would kill me. I thought it was bluster. He is my brother. Despite what you told me, I thought it meant something. You're safe for now. But perhaps a trip away from Nassau would do you some good. Good God, man. What's happened to you? I cannot go on anymore. My brother? A traitor, that woman, Templar. I have no family, no wife of my own. What is the point of living? Hmm? Let them kill me. You don't know what you're saying, mate. Let's get you someplace safe. What's the point? The point is, I want my key. So I need you alive. I need your information, so I need you sober. You. You. Oh, my best friend. Come here. Kill you! What are you looking at? Hey, you there with a sour face. What was that you said about my mom? I said she's a lovely woman inside and out. Oh, I know with you. I thought everyone knew. That's right, I said it. Come on, mate. Let's go. No! Work with me, mate. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy... Mate, the Father, the Son, and the Holy... What's the third one again? Let's just keep it moving, yeah? The Father, the Son, and the... Let's keep it moving. No, that's not it. What does it matter? <laughs> <gasps> it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Nothing in this sour life does. Let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. Who are these creatures? <laughs> That's no way to... That's it. I don't feel so good. Captain, mate, no! Guards! There are guards nearby. Piss off! They won't stand for this. I said piss off! You show them who's that way! Oh. I don't want to be like a child, Edward. It's all right, mate. Help me not be like a child. You just need the drink to wear off. Are you safe here? Safety is an illusion. Mm. But yes, I have friends here I can hide. Good. What you must think of me. Have I said anything embarrassing? No, mate. You sound quite the scholar. Betrayal makes one philosophical, don't it? 
Imagine a Templar. My brother to marry a Templar. I doubt it'll come to that. I'm so afraid for him. Oh, please help keep him safe. Sober up, mate. We'll finish this in the morning. You're a forever friend, can I? Hmm. You're looking better than last we met. As I sobered up, I began to see it more clearly. Jing has led my brother astray, and must be killed. Vance has also betrayed me. As an assassin, his treachery must be punished by death. So either way, one of them has the Templar key. You're obviously distraught. Let me take care of it. I will tell you where to find them. Takes one to know one. <sighs> Jin Lang, as I live and breathe. I told him not to hire you, you traitor! I will not meet the same fate! Imagine the Queen of Pirates, Jing Lang, defeated for a fake map. I have been arrogant. Really? Yes, I stole the real one, both halves. My husband has it. Your husband? Better man than these fools.